see we're live, sick. Yo, what's up guys? I thought I'd just stream for fun, it's been a minute. Yeah, I got a lot to talk about. I kinda just wanted to react to some videos today. Have some fun streaming, maybe play a little TFT. But yeah, let's try this. Hmm. We're good? Yeah, we're on. popular on YouTube. I don't think there's anything necessarily wrong with that. I totally understand that since so many people in society are more isolated now from other human beings than ever, oftentimes they'll turn their attention to the internet to get like some basic advice on certain things and I get that it can be helpful to some people, but it's become a huge market and that's made it ripe for exploitation. So there's been this rise in AI generated self-improvement gurus and they all make the exact same video with the exact same life hacks. So, you want to get a woman? Well, you need to be a high-value man, an alpha male. That means brushing your teeth, combing your hair, eat well, sleep well, go to the gym. You'll be drowning in sodden beef curtains in no time if you follow this advice that no one else is telling you, because no one wants you to know it. They want to keep you in the dark as a sad cuck beta male. And it's just that shit over and over and over again. And I wanted to show one channel that I found today that had me giggling. That the casino contest is live at Circle K. It's your chance to win big. With over that is the embodiment of this entire trend. It's a channel called Far From Weak, and it's a picture of Kratos, and the guy behind it isn't using an AI voice like all of the other channels. It's his actual voice, but he puts a filter on it to artificially deepen it so it sounds more like Kratos and more masculine. And not to immediately start taking shots here, but... To me, that sounds far from strong. You're afraid to use your real voice for fear of ridicule, so instead you use effects to make it sound deeper than it is. To me, that sounds pretty weak, but let's go ahead and go over his most popular video here. There are guys out there that attract the highest quality of girls, and they do so effortlessly. On the other side, you will find many guys that can't get laid, and that is why. They are bitter. He makes it sound so haunting, like he's the Zodiac killer or something. And he's trying so hard to make his voice deeper, so that way it's helping with the pitch shifting to bring it down so it sounds a little more natural. So he's getting up in there <laughs> and letting it get real raspy. Here are the secret three tips. The casino contest is live Early at Circle K. You your it's your button. chance to win big. With tips to getting so much pussy your cock will fall off. The truth is that girls can make life more fun. It is always good to focus on yourself, but you have to stay honest with yourself. Don't start blaming girls for your own shortcomings. Instead, learn from videos like this one and become better with them in real life. I have absolutely no doubt that he has ChatGPT generate these scripts because every single video plays out almost exactly like this on all of the other channels that do this kind of content. By far the most popular subject covered by these channels is like this, how to get girls. The ultimate tutorial on getting women. So you want to fuck like an alpha male? Here's how. And it's the same points every single time and all of those videos are so popular which is extremely sad because what that means is there's a bunch of really lonely dudes out there that just keep watching these same videos over and over again somehow expecting to like get all of those skills through osmosis like just by watching it it's going to make them more equipped at getting a woman without ever actually implementing the casino contest is live at circle k it's your chance to win big Anything any change in their life oh, Three ads within the first three minutes. How am I averaging one ad per minute here, Charlie? It's not even terrible advice every time either. Like there, don't blame women. Look more introspectively. But that's not groundbreaking information. That's not like a eureka moment. Like, oh, it was my fault all along. Like, I feel like deep down, everyone who watches these videos knows that they have to grab the bull by the horns and do it themselves. But And they've been told that millions and millions and millions of times. Why keep feeding into the AI content farm here to hear it again? It's like going to these videos for affirmations like, okay, I do need to make a change. And then not doing it and then going and watching another like Chad Energy Aura video tutorial. Like it just doesn't make sense to me. Number one, high energy. 
women are attracted to energetic, confident men. They crave a man that is oozing with confidence and is overflowing with energy. Who doesn't know that? It's not just women that like that, it's human beings in general. Yo, I'm not gonna lie, that AI YouTube channel, the way he does his videos is actually so addicting. It's like, it feels like you're in a, in a hypnosis with the music, the it's the same song on repeat too, in the same voice. It's, it's actually hilarious. So I can see why people, like younger people, actually like that type of content. Clearly because he has a million subscribers. No one likes someone that's just going to slink away into the shadows acting like some kind of downtrodden weirdo. Everyone likes someone that's confident. Everyone knows that. High energy, people like that too. The casino contest is live at Circle K. It's your chance to win big. With I swear YouTube knows I'm live and it's slapping me with all these. I've never seen so many ads on one video in just four minutes. That's crazy. Not necessarily the way he portrays it here with like a gorilla banging on its chest to attract females. Like people don't like that level of energy where you're just out there like a fucking bozo screaming and shouting and hooting and hollering. But everyone knows that confidence matters a lot in life. And I'm 100% certain that everyone in the audience that turns to these self-improvement AI creators knows that. So I don't know why they... Yo, Tabeja, I'm about to play TFT in like, after this video. I might skip ahead, but whatever. If you're, if you're on right now, I'll hop on. You know what? Let me just uh, open this. It's closing all my games. If you know, you know this background. Only real ones know this background. <laughs> okay, I'll let that come. I keep coming back to it to keep hearing that they need to be more confident without ever really doing anything of their own. Maybe they just really like watching the anime montage and the random movie clips montage, perhaps? Like, maybe that's the draw? When I say this, I'm not saying to act like a clown or behave like a fool. Think of the alpha gorilla that gets all the females. Because the silverback is the powerful leader, full of energy and strength. If challenged by a younger or even by an outsider male, a silverback will scream, beat his chest, bare <laughs> his teeth, and then charge forward. Yo, wouldn't silverback gorillas also like, you know, masturbate, you know, and throw shit on you and do the most like, uncivilized shit? I swear, those guys are the most uncivilized creatures. I love how all of these channels always pull from the Animal King. The casino contest is live at Circle K. Guys, do not. It's your chance to win gamble. big. With do not gamble, them either the okay? You're seeing casino for the fifth time. Please don't gamble. I'm not about that. Gorillas or lions is another really popular one. Why does the lion fuck, but <laughs> you don't? What separates you? from the lion. Here's the breakdown. This one's using the gorilla. The gorilla has a ton of energy. It's the powerful leader. When challenged, it'll charge forward, beating its chest and screaming. It's like, yeah, it's a super cool, fun fact here, but the example isn't necessary. That's not going to be the selling point to someone watching this. That's not going to be the eye-opener. Like, nah, this guy's full of baloney. What a bunch of horseradish. No way confidence matters at all. And then the gorilla segment comes on, he's like, blown away. Whoa! So I guess confidence does matter. Look at the gorillas. Okay, I guess I'm going to emulate that. From now on, anytime I feel threatened out in society, I'm just going to scream ah! and start charging at them. And then I'll get women. And even happily serve as playmates for excitable infants. Let me be very clear. There are alphas amongst us humans too. And they always have higher energy than beta males. This is a very important part of thriving as a man, and you will not hear many people talk about it. The okay. zoology lesson goes on longer than anything else he talks about. Yeah, I get it, I get it. He's just roasting him. I understand his concerns. Yes, okay. I actually, I actually did want to talk about this. <sighs> self-improvement? It's really weird, man. The reason we get on self-improvement is because you know usually trauma happens to us and we want to like deal with that trauma by basically 
we want to cope with that trauma by hopping on self improvement. It's just one of one way to deal with trauma. You know, a lot of people, a lot of people I know, they like get super fat. They go to food for their comfort, which I completely understand because I actually love food. Like I, like food is one of my biggest pleasures actually. So I can easily get fat because I have really bad genetics. So that's another way. You know, people can also you know start drinking and you know partying, doing whatever they want, but. Uh, then there's people like me, you know, that can <laughs> help on self-improvement and like, you know, think they're doing it the right way. The truth is, I don't know if there's a right way. I just think there's healthier ways to cope than others. Self-improvement is, I guess, you can say relatively healthier than, you know, the, the person who's getting fat and drinking, obviously. But once you make that your only thing, it's really hard to like have any self-worth for yourself because if you're just constantly just trying to improve for the sake for like external reasons i'll be honest with you like my channel most of these videos i made them from like an an extrinsic motivation i thought i was doing it internally because i'm making content that's like valuable to people and i want people to actually like you know change the world and do yada 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 but no honestly man like this was all extrinsic i was really I was really uh, envious of the other successful YouTubers who were killing it and making money working from home. It was such a shiny thing to do. It looked like a very shiny thing, right? That everyone wants like, wow, making YouTube videos and making, making a lot of money, getting sponsorships, AdSense, uh, maybe your own product. So because I actually was exposed to YouTubers who were very successful, making like anywhere from like 20 G's a month to like 80 G's a month. Yeah, there has been months like that where I've met people do that. It really, it really like motivated me to do the same thing, but I was motivated for the wrong reasons. And this is why when I kept going with my channel, I got to the point where like, I started to make money on my own, you know, from my nine to five. And, you know, I'm also doing a sales job. So I'm making decent money actually a month and I'm saving like most of my money. I'm saving like 90% of my expenses. So because I was able to actually get the external thing that I wanted to get through YouTube, I no longer had the motivation to create videos anymore. So now I'm in this really weird spot where, you know, I acquired an audience of like, you know, whatever, 17,000 subscribers. And I was averaging about like one to two K views a video, which is not bad. Like I, I even went on this crazy run here. <laughs> and I got like 130,000, 94. This was insane. Right. But now I'm in this really weird spot where I'm like, what I want to make content. So this is another reason why I'm streaming right now, just to like try out different things. But it's tough, man. It's tough. Like, I don't want to make content anymore just for the external reason. So I'm trying to find, I'm trying to make it come from an extrinsic spot where I'm actually having fun with content, where I actually genuinely want to make it. And if people find that valuable, that's okay. That's cool. That's even a bonus, but I don't want to do it ex externally anymore. I'm done with that. So that's where I'm at right now in my life. It's a really interesting spot to be in. I can't believe it's already been three weeks since I've created this video. That's crazy. <laughs> um, yeah. So I don't know what my content is going to look like. I can even show you some scripts that I've been working on that I keep giving up on because I, I keep running into the same problem. Let me see. I was working on a video called what hating yourself actually looks like. And I actually thought it was a really good script, but it was also really depressing. <laughs> I just watched this movie. I think it was called the iron claw. Very good movie, very good movie, but it was freaking depressing. So I got like a similar shot of this guy cause I was really inspired by it. I know it's sick. Eh? Anyways, I had a really good script and ideas written and it was flushed out ready to be like film. But I realized like I'm in a part of my life right now where like, I don't want to make a video and, and the answer of just being like nothing, you know, I could just say, uh, yeah, you <laughs> hating yourself looks like this. And then you get no value out of it. Maybe some of you do, but I, right now I'm in a part of my life where I'm transitioning from feeling that existential dread to actually letting go of that and stop being hard on myself. I'm sorry. I'm, 
I'm starting to stop punishing myself for not doing more. So what I come to realize is that you are more than enough as a person, right? Like we do a lot of things to like prove our self worth. You know, we might hit the gym. We might like uh, do all these different things like meditating, uh, journaling, whatever it is, man. And you do these things to make yourself feel better. And then when you miss one of these days or you miss one of these habits, you start to feel like shit or you stop uploading, whatever it is, you start to feel bad about yourself and you punish yourself and you put more guilt and shame on yourself. There's literally no reason for that. So I'm transitioning my mind to say, to be kinder to myself, basically. So no point in feeling that existential dread. Just like kind of enjoy the moment. And I was thinking about this, you know, in the past, hundred, even a hundred years ago, a thousand years ago, you were only allowed to live in moments. You know, you didn't have your phone. You didn't have a distraction or video games. Like maybe you had, okay, maybe people used to gamble and drink, but even still, like it was very limited to what you can do. So you were just living in the moment all the time. So right now I'm trying my best to live in the moment. You know, I'm trying to be useful at work. I'm trying to take it easy. I'm taking it easy on myself. I mean, uh, I'm still hitting the gym four days a week. I'm still doing. So that's another thing I want to talk about fitness, like the gym. I'm not hitting the gym because, you know, I want to do it externally to look. Well, yeah, I do want to look a certain way, but I don't want to like attract girls or do it or do it in a way that's really superstitious or like out of ego. Right. So. I, maybe maybe when I first had my FTE event, I would go to the gym. And I would start gymming because you know it came out of a place that was really external. But then as you as I developed the habit, and I got better at it, and I started to enjoy it. Now I genuinely go because I lo- I love doing it. I feel like it's a playground. I'm having fun, and I I understand the health benefits that's coming out of it. So that's what I mean by transitioning your mindset of doing things internally versus externally to are you ready? Okay. I'm gonna hop on right now, but we are, we can talk, I can talk about this to my cousin too. It'd be cool to get his opinion as well. All right, brother, brother, I don't see you online. Keep cooking. <laughs> um, yeah. So I just use that gym example to just let you guys know, like, you don't have to do things externally. Obviously, there's going to be some external motivation, but if that's your only motivation, you're going to, one, turn to a very like egotistical person, which if that's your goal, cool, man, go ahead, do that. Or two, I, don't, I don't remember the second point I was going to say, but yeah, you either turn to a very ego-driven like, person or you're going to just hate yourself for just chasing these goals because every time you chase a goal, it just becomes like another external thing. It doesn't actually satisfy you on a deep level. I'm on the wrong account. Oh, damn, bro. (laughs) My bad. It's all my smurf, eh? So, yeah, I'm just watching Charlie's video on the AI generated content. It was just funny, like, watching him react to it. Because it is pretty cringe. Even, like, when I look at my old content, I... Every video I look at, I cringe. Even my most popular video got like 360,000 views. It's so cringe, man. I was in such a bad place making that. But you know what? I understood why I was making that at the time. Like I just had to like deal with my trauma of like being inadequate and not feeling valued. But now that I'm on a, like, now that I'm at a place in my life where I'm very confident and comfortable in my own skin, and I have actually YouTube to thank for that because I'm very authentic now. Um, it's helped me it's it's helped me get over the that uh feeling of trying to like prove myself to like playing the status game if that makes sense yo should i join discord okay let me join discord i'm actually youtube to thank for that because i'm very on myself through your thing that's crazy Uh, (laughs) should i join the league chat instead no, I think this goes better. Okay, let's do that. Right. <clears throat> okay, you, want, can... you want to double up? Uh, I, I can't. I can't. Why? Oh, I have you have a... Have a, oh, you have a like, yeah, yeah, my I forgot double up was like rank like that. Yeah, yeah, bro. You know, me and Kyle hit, hit masters in that. <laughs> <laughs> bro, we were like top 450 double up players. Bro, why are you guys so nasty at this game? Bro, me and Kyle together, it's we're crazy. We could do it, but it has to be on another account. Because on this account, me and Kyle are like soul, soul bounded. 
Bro, you guys are actually like next level at this game. You know, even yesterday we played. It was both our first times playing the new set. We had no idea what was going on. Oh, yo, wait. How do I change Almost. my my stream to like my league? You know how? I'll be honest. I have no clue. Yo, but there should be a way for it to capture your lead stream. Oh, I could check it. Oh, it's showing. It's showing. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. What were you saying? I was saying, me and Kyle, uh, we could play TFT double up together, but it has to be on a different account. It has to be on a different account? Like, I have to get another account, but I could do that. It's okay. Well, we have that EU West uh, account. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But, like, if we're gonna play TFT, we may as well be on this account. Well, why do we have three people with uh, one of the augment things? Yeah, like every game's on the new sites. Honestly, I've been having a lot of fun with this set. Oh, this it's set's actually way better than last set. Yeah, it's so much better. Okay, yo, what's, what's the build thing? You know what? Let's build. I go where the trouble is. Yeah, bro, I'm just having fun right now, like, trying something new, you know what I mean? Yeah, I like it. Cool. I don't know, I'm just gonna explore different shit. I could've built a big channel. But my, my audience is probably like, what the fuck is this guy doing playing Key of D? He's got the double thing. I don't know. I saw the title, I was dying. You it was like, like fitness, masculinity, blah blah blah, and TFT. <laughs> <laughs> that's, oh, literally what, like, that's literally what I was about to do, bro. <laughs> yeah, I was supposed to talk about Huberman too, because did you hear the, the latest news of that guy? No, what happened? Hello, I'll tell you. That sounds like crazy. Yeah. 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 Should I do that? You can freely move through the carousel rounds, or is that int? Uh, I think it's good actually. So you can get whatever item you want, no matter what. Ooh, I'm gonna do the lesser champion duplicate. I think we can clutch. I got heaven in. What if I want to get sword leader? Nah, I can't do sword leader. Get this guy help. So what's a good build so far you find? Um, I think Story Weaver is pretty sick. Yeah, I like Story Weaver too, bro. Found a build that's like, you just get level 9 as fast as possible, and you put like every legendary you can think of. <laughs> for Story Weaver? For just like, it's not, it's, there's no comp oh, for it. Strat? Yeah. And you just get all the legendaries? The five? You get all the legendaries, oh, that's yeah. so hard to do? It's, you have to have a strong early board, but that usually works. But like, I've only played a few games. I don't really know. Hmm. Crest of Cinders. What is that, Red Buff? Is Red Buff even good in this game, bro? No clue. It's a new item. I doubt it, though, to be honest. Take all? Or I take all? Decent offers you dodge. Oh wait bro, I didn't get to take any of that. <laughs> I ran you didn't get. Oh, but you still got something though, no? Nah, I didn't get shit bro. No way. That's actually like so bad. Cause the items were like so good. I thought they were just like automatically. Oh no, they gave it to me. They gave it to me. I'm stripping. Yeah, yeah, they must have. Like, there's no way they just don't give it to me. I got the Baron's gift. I mean, 80% attack speed for 80 seconds after casting the Baron. That looks like it hurts. Taking out of 22. What are you building? Heavenly Baron. I'm going 
heavily behind you. Yes. Yeah, I'm gonna play like Duelist. You play Duelist? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, so it's my dad's birthday today, but he's not home right now. He's not home? No, but when he comes home, I got a cake for him. Oh, that's nice. Where'd you get the cake from? From Loblaws. <laughs> it's still it's a like a chocolate fudge cake. Like, that's just pretty dang. Bro, on my birthday, you usually get this burro or shake cake. It's so dang. Yeah, that sounds dang. We have a fair or shit game. Probably, um, um, simply biscotti, but maybe not. My destination is Yeah, Galio is OP actually on your team. Yeah, yeah, I need Galio. That was my first dub. Is there music playing? Yeah, it sounds like a DJ. Yeah, bro, so apparently there was this. I didn't read it yet. So I don't oh, know, yeah, tell me. I'm not gonna assume it, but apparently this guy was caught lacking. <laughs> How? He got exposed to that. So they were saying in this article, this New York Times article, how um, he got caught with like eight girlfriends. He'd like tell them to like, he'd tell one of them to like come here. Like, like you know, one of them will come while one, one of them is like watching the dog. Like he was just like a player with eight girls apparently. Oh, what the hell? Yeah, I don't know, bro. I don't know if it's true or not, but I just find it so funny. <laughs> I mean, like... It's, it's not that bad. I know, it's just so funny how you like, got exposed like playing eight girls, if that's true. No, that's not funny. I'm like, you remember me? This guy? So, like, yeah. He's like a nice guy, you know? But, yeah, it's not like part of his image, I find. Like, he's, a, like, he's, like, he's like a giant 48 year old, you know? So, I don't know, man. It's funny. Yeah, a giant 48 year old, like, like the big guy, you know? But, you know, I was actually thinking today on my drive home, I was like, 
I was like, I, I was thinking with an angry human, and I was like, I wonder if this guy like does anything bad, or if he said, <laughs> "What? Well, God, Allah, yeah, today." That's crazy. I know. And then like you're telling me today that like he did this. Yeah, it's kind of weird, bro. It's kind of insane, to be honest. But like, you can't blame the guy. Like he's another dude just like us, you know. <laughs> but eight girls is crazy. Yeah, eight girls is wild. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know if it's like eight, but that's why I heard, bro. I didn't even need it yet. I had it ready on the stream to talk about. Where'd you read that? Like, where, where where do you read this? One of one of my friends texted me because like we did like a human challenge together. So like, mm. I, I beat you. The, I'm I'm shocked. Oh, that was you? But your team's deezed. <laughs> I, got, I got destroyed and my team is like supposed to be strong. I haven't lost a game yet. No way. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, one of my friends just told me about it because we did like this team together like a year and a half ago. That's all sad. You get a dragon skull every time you heal 8,000 health with dragon skulls, you get an item component. Whoa. That sounds crazy. Let's give it to Koga. Oh yeah. Huge. Well, let's give her a What do I still have this guy? I don't really need that guy. Nah, Wow, this guy has two dragon call on his wreck side, bro. He's just not dying. He's gaining 18% max health every two seconds to 10% max health. Yeah, that is crazy. <clears throat> and it's like the upgraded one too. What could this combo mean? Okay. They give me a lot of ink shadow this game. I show an ink shadow. I know you should always play what they give you, but like that never happens. Yeah, they only give it to you when you when you're not playing it. Yeah, exactly. You wanna die? What? Yeah, what? Um. Remember how I had an assignment to do yesterday? Yeah. It was mad difficult, and we were struggling like crazy. And we have a class Discord, and we're all like bitching to the prof. So he gave us till Thursday to do it. So I totally could game yesterday. Bro, yesterday it was so fun. Everyone came. Really? Yeah, bro. Everyone except wow. me. That's crazy. On our run. Even Julia, bro. Julia doesn't even come on Monday. Yeah, but I, I definitely. Well, I didn't know I was gonna get extended. He extended like at 11 p.m. We were all dying. <laughs> so if it was that hard, why were you playing League, bro? Because I thought it was like doable, oh, and then cause you have to simulate a thing. And I was like, I know how the circle works. I'll just put it in and simulate a couple things. And I'm simulating it, and it's not working. <laughs> 
And then I asked my friends, I'm like, yo, like, what's going on? And they're like, yeah, bro, I have no idea. Wow. So it was, it was tough. And then today in class, he kind of helped us. He helped you guys? Yeah, which he needed to do. Like, he gave us no information. Oh shit, I got five story me after this round. Who? Tohid. Maybe your TFT is too loud. Oh, yo, okay, I need to fix that. Take that one. Give me a sec. Okay, five story weaver, say less. Wider area or five percent stacking attack speed? I'm gonna take the stacking. Okay, let me fix that. better now, eh? Okay, is that better? Damn, bro, I'm taking L's. I even know Kenny's in this game. The Rek'Sai is not dying, he the same Rek'Sai. Yeah, bro, he just doesn't die. It's actually dumb. I need stronger units. Okay, I need to do something or else I'm... What should I build Storyweaver with? Um... I think just by itself. Just get seven Storyweavers. Interesting. Nothing on the side, eh? Well, I'm not sure. I don't know enough about the set. Interesting. Maybe I sell Lux. I don't have a good enough front line. Interesting. Server. Let's see if you can eat. No. Am I dead last, bro? Mm -hmm. yeah, man. Yo, have you guys? Well, died for you, so. Yeah. Okay, they can hear me better now. I'm getting paired with masters, bro. What is this? No, we're gonna give this guy story river, but yeah. Can you one more story? Oh, they gave it to me. They gave me the game. Every eight seconds, revive the strongest ally that hasn't been revived yet. Wow, taking that. It's kind of huge. This guy's magic tank? Yeah, that's good. Let's give a uh, blue buff maybe to this guy. Give him this guy. Hi, 
I got seven story weaver. I'm against the third guy. This guy building. Mythic, Zimith. Okay. Oh yeah, well, this is where we give him the L. Yo, I'm just looking. Okay. I have to break my fast soon. <laughs> Yeah, in like 20 minutes. Bro, we got so used to fasting, It's, I guess it's a good sign. Really, huh? Yeah, it hasn't been that bad anymore. Yeah, that's good. People, like, haven't really been complaining too much. Usually every year, everyone's always crying. <laughs> it depends where you work too, bro. Back three rolls? Say less. Yeah, so just pull your guys one roll back. Yeah. That's so weird. It should be like back two rolls. It's such a random thing. Yeah, back three rolls seems too easy. I only have a level. Okay, never mind. I haven't seen you since the beginning. Yeah, I haven't played in a long time. Well, this guy has three arcane staff. <laughs> well, this guy forced. I think I played against that guy at the oh, start. Is the Sandra Story Reaver? No. Where is she? She's there's no Sandra. Oh wait, take Zaya Rakan. I think they're Story Reaver. I think. No, they're not. It's okay. It's but okay. they're strong. They should still be good. It's okay. Lily is mythic. Lily. What is that? Azir? What's Azir? Azir is Dryad and Volker. Bro, there's so many different, like, sets. I know, there's so many. Kind of sick, though. Yeah, it is sick. Okay, let's do this. Let's put this guy here. I need another Syndra, eh? Um, you know, my guys are too close together. Tell me when I can move them back. I think it said three turns. Three turns, okay. Yeah. Or four turns, actually, so there's still three turns left. I think I'll play you next. <clears throat> yeah, I haven't played in so long. My team finally got strong. Wow, yo, it's so sick seeing kill revive my people at 50% health. Is that the power you gave her? Yeah. Kind Damn, of we're up. You know what, let's sell Syndra and get to Zyra. Let's play, re let's refresh, let's refresh. Okay, that's huge. Set. Okay. Another galley, another Zoe. Interesting. I have a lot of level 2 guys on my bench, but I need them level 3. Oh, that's you? Your K looks deep. <laughs> it's huge. Oh shit, it's close. My Volley Bear is big. Oh wow. He's like, I just got him 3 stars too, to be honest. This is crazy bro, this guy is not taking any damage. Bloodthirster? <laughs> not... He's like full heals. 
<laughs> That's insane. What are you building? Are you a duelist. No, no, I'm not dead yet. Uh, do this, maybe. This. Sivir. What is this item? Oh, a lot of money. A lot of money. You know what? Let's level up. What do these guys do? Lovers. Trick shot. Interesting. Okay, let's give this guy bear health. This world needs hope. I'm giving Gallo Titans resolve, I'll get. Sivir is doing more damage than kill. Yo, anyone watching this stream fasting? Yo, let's work out with this guy. Yo, why are you huge, bro? I don't know, we're all big. <laughs> How do you work out with him? I'm trying, I'm trying to work out with him. What, what was that bro? bro? Oh, everyone gets bigger. That's it. For no reason. What a waste. I wish the gym actually worked like that. It just makes you bigger? It does make you bigger. Yeah, but not off one time. <laughs> <laughs> one workout? I think the asshole thing has one more round left. Or it's done. I can't, I can't tell. Or it's, it's done. It's zero yeah. round. Looking good. Damn, I can't even imagine what 10 story weaver does. Bro, this guy hurts. Why do we still take those? Your kill is like doing some weird shit right now. Bro, she's crazy. Look, she's still healing this guy. <laughs> <laughs> I have uh, Zaya and what's his name? I'm just kicking it. Okay, I need okay, I need level threes in here. But they don't want to give it to me. I'm so close. There we go, level 3 Zoe. Oh, they give me Aurelia. Beautiful. Yo, I've been playing soccer every like Saturday, 11 p.m. to 12.30. It's so fun, man. It's like three teams, king of the core. It's either first to two goals or six minute games. Really? And bro, it's honestly really like hard because like you don't have any subs, so you're so tired. Is it in the, um, that dome thing? RA Center. RA Center? But 11.30 is mad late, no? Yo, is Wukong Storyweaver? No. But I could probably use him. Is there any Storyweaver emblems here? No. No. Stay with Wukong, fuck it. Yo, so what were you saying? I was saying that's kind of late, no? Yeah, but Saturday, it's Ramadan, bro. You're gonna eat, you're gonna sleep in, so it's kind of nice. Only Ramadan I'll do this. 
Yeah. This. I'd, I'd be down, but it's just kind of late. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I wasn't inviting you. <laughs> um. No, I'm just voting with you, bro. Oh, yes, they still didn't tell me if you confirmed on the, for the team in the summer or not. Oh yeah, that's true. That's what I do. I guess we'll never find out, brother. We just have to decide him. No, I... I don't know, man. I think... I don't think I'm gonna play with, you, with your team. Okay. Just because I know all the guys... Like, it's, it's the guys I play with on Saturday. You know, I, I've, I've had too much PTSD from playing on soccer teams and not enjoying it. Yeah, that's fair. Okay, I need to find a way to put really on. Let's put her instead of... Zaya. I need like two more people for level three. Oh, it looks like I'm taking it off. Or, or never mind. Say less, bro. We forced. Now your team looks pretty strong, to be honest. I need two more story weavers, which is gonna be like impossible. It's like basic. It's literally impossible. Like you, you need, can't do it. You need what, like? Two more emblems? Three emblems in total? You're, you Do you have an emblem? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In total. That's kind of it's crazy. It's all five star units that like fit your comp, you know? Yeah. Okay, server level three. Huge, huge. Cho'Gath level three. Maybe we take Uyer for uh, Behemoth. Okay, we're starting to get strong, brother. Two Dragon Claws on uh, Garen. Fuck it. Maybe like someone tank here. I already have everyone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess these are good. Play the back line character. Put her in really? the back. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Upstairs, I think. Uh, yeah. It's okay, don't worry about us. Thank you, bro. Oh, don't tell me you're giving me the L. Yeah. Oh no! You had to do that to me, eh? That's foul. Bro, the, my, my top people only did 2,000 damage. Yeah, but at least you still made top 4. Yeah. That's still something. There's only one guy left. Uh, probably. He's playing four Reaper. I wonder if that's good. Four what? Doesn't sound. Four Reapers. Yo, do this. I don't do this. Is that strong? <clears throat> I know they're so OP. Look at this volley bear. He just doesn't die and he kills everything. You don't. You don't have Yazo on, do you? No. Nah. You have Aurelia. No, no. Yeah, the duelist. You have her on. Ah, uh, yeah. She died, bro. I don't really the back person. I thought she was a fighter, bro. Yeah, she's long range. Interesting. 
Yeah, I know it's very true. Doesn't even make any sense to them. Hey, Wukong, Wukong's supposed to be a part of the team instead of who? He's a sage, yeah. Yeah, you can make uh -huh. two. Can you get two sage? Oh, what, what team are you following right now? There's a website called TF Tactics. Oh, bro, listen, I love you, bro, but I'm gonna go break my vest. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Okay? Yeah. Yo, whoever was watching, respect. Just did, just did this for fun, you know? Well, guys, I'm gonna. Yeah. What? You should do it again. Every time you, like, play or something, you just, like, scream, you know? Yeah, I'm gonna experiment more on my channel, guys, so thanks for whoever came to support. Appreciate you guys. I'll see you guys probably in a couple hours or something.